Hello, optimizers. I got a problem. My artifact inventory is always full. <gasps> I keep farming artifacts, but I don't know which one to level up. I'm sure you're on the same boat. Well, you're in luck. Have I got the solution for you? This new feature in Genshin Optimizer will help you find which artifact give you the best bang for your resources. Let's begin by going to Genshin Optimizer. I've been farming for artifacts for my Farina for months, and now my inventory is full of golden tropes. Let's use this feature to find the diamond in the rough. Before I begin, I ran the optimizer cycle on my Farina and got a decent build. This will be the baseline build that we will use for this new feature. Next, I will go to the Artifact Upgrader tab. This is going to look very similar to the Optimizer tab, and in fact, it actually shares the same configuration as your Optimizer tab, including optimization target, constraints, and set configurations. If you used the Optimizer before, you've already set this up. The only setting that is not synced with your Optimizer setup is the level filter, which is by default set to level 1 to 90 for non-fully leveled artifacts. Let's scroll down. During the time you were admiring the settings, the upgrader has gone and picked out the best artifacts for ya. No more big green buttons to click, no more loading bars. Y'all deserve a break. Let me give you a cliff's note on what this feature does. The upgrader basically takes an artifact and rolls every possibility. Then it calculates your selected target with every possible artifact outcome and add it all together. Once it does this with every artifact, it sorts them all by potential. I know some of you have not seen a graph like this since high school. I'll keep it simple. The graph is a measurement of the probability of artifact rolls versus how much that roll can increase your target. Because I've set the energy recharge constraint, the orange constraint is much smaller than the full potential of the artifact. The red line is the current value of your base build. The green line is the potential increase to your target. If you still don't understand the graph, no sweat. Just look at the top right. This artifact has a 17% chance to increase your target with an average increase of 1%. Since we're gacha addicts, that might as well be guaranteed. Now let's find this artifact and found it. I'm going to level this up. I hope this artifact won't disappoint me. Good. Looking great. At this point, I want to see if this artifact is worth investing into. Let me grab a screenshot of this boy. If you can't use the screenshot, you can just manually change the artifact as well. Looks like upgrading this artifact has done some interesting things to the result. There is now a 14% probability with an average increase of 1.4%. Cool, some energy recharge. Okay, let's check again. Watching numbers go up is a good healthy source of dopamine. 34% probability with an average increase of 1.4%. After fully upgrading this artifact, I got an overall increase of 1.6%. I'm going to equip this artifact to a build and see how it compares with the old build. I'm going to name the old build Old 4GT. Comparing the current build of the newly leveled artifact with the old build, look, a nice 1.6% increase. This is such free damage, letting the upgrader pick an artifact and it just upgrade it in game. Now for some disclaimers. Because the artifact upgrader only swaps one artifact at a time, it is advised that you start with a base build that has your desired artifact set. After upgrading your artifacts, it is also advisable to run the main optimizer so you can find the best build across all your artifacts. Side effects of using the artifact upgrader includes copium, nausea, gacha addiction, headaches, dopamine, stomach aches, and in most cases of prolonged use, a tidy and clean artifact inventory. Ask your favorite Genshin theory crafters if artifact upgrader is the right feature for you. I hope this guide was helpful. Visit our playlist of other tutorial videos to explore other Genshin Optimizer features. And if you have further questions, don't hesitate to join our Discord community to ask for assistance. The links are in the video description below. Okay, thanks for your time. Bye!